What's going on, everybody? Stridebreaker back at it again. And we're coming here with some Chris Chan content today. So as you know, there is a new Quickie Discord server, which contains many of the members of Kiwi Farms and the Quickie as the people running it. And it is very funny. I might do a video on it later. There are a lot of leaks that come out about Chris, or Christine, as we should call it. Uh, she actually tried to sneak on there, uh, but then got kicked out. And Jacob Sockness also has made multiple attempts of getting in there. So let's actually get right into it. So he'll do these like Q&As like once a week now. And initially they were kind of like making fun of him. Now to ask him legit questions. But guess what? Christine is like, so as you all know, she's like insane with this dimensional emerge now. She's now like pretending to be Sonic. Which this is a really freaking creepy video on his YouTube channel where he's like being possessed by Magic Cham. You should go look that up. But, uh, so yeah, these are questions we asked. I guess I'll just do an analysis. So, they asked him, if Sonic could be in any Sonic game? So yeah, this is just kind of like the chat log from them. And as you see here, that one I definitely answer with no problem. And her favorite classic game. So this is not even like a and a with Christine, technically. It's just what, it's just Sonic, which just is all Christine. So yeah, it just talks about, like, uh, Sonic CD, which I've never played. But, you know, they're talking about it. Online platform. So yeah, talking about Sonic Generations, I actually played this. Which... As you see here, Sonichu, who's possessing Christine's body, apparently, is referring to her as Mama. Which, if you don't know, Chris, when he was a guy, he was Sonichu's father. But not technically. So, in the story, uh, Sonic was a Pikachu that then, like, got, like, hit with like, Chaos Emeralds and, like, became Sonichu, right? But then, you know, the Pikachu's parents had been, uh, had been, uh, captured by trainers. So, you know, like, Sonichu, who is now in Quickville, Chris was like, oh, shit, I'll be your daddy. Like, like, What? So that, that that doesn't even make any sense. Like, and you know, Sonic lives on his own in the comics too. It's not like he's living with Chris. I also sound that funny. So, and it's kind of like Chris's games. Yeah, it says that. Uh, I know what Sonic says here. Uh, and seriously, I would love if someone did a fan animation of the opening and then animations with me and Rosie in the ending part, because, you know, Rosie. So, you know, they're finally acknowledging the fact that it's not like freaking uh, Rosa Chu, it's Rosie. So. Uh, Perceptor Son Sonichu's role, so, this is just, like, kind of talking about Magic Chan and stuff like that, just more craziness and the chaotic combo, if anything can be changed about the Sonichu series, and speaking for Mama, which is really creepy, uh, Chris being referred to as Mama, speaking for Mama from her memories and experiences, essentially to change one thing, blah 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 books, yeah, so he pretty much talks about heroes, about, uh, Giovanni and Eggman, would be, uh, I uh, would be working with Giovanni, and there would be a little change to, like, Alter C-197, like, to get that included early on, because because he wrote that before he was, uh, uh, like, pretty much brainwashed, even though I think that, I, there's a small chance he's trolling us right now, but I think he's just screwed up, and remove every anti-LGTBQ statement she ever had, which, there was a lot, like, like, if you guys don't know, there in the one comic, uh, Chris, uh, wanted to make a vaccine for being gay, but he needed, uh, pure straight blood to do it, so of course he used his blood, because he's completely straight, even though she's bisexual now, and then, like, put it in the water supply <laughs> to make everyone straight, so yeah, that's definitely it, and variations in Sonic and C-197, so yeah, Sonic's there, but, like, Matt, Sonic Chew is running, so in C-197, there exists our one and only OG Sonic, the Sonic the Hedgehog, which, you know, Chris just created everything else as a combination of powers. So, yeah, I guess that's just it, then. The most interesting thing about Chris, which they're not even referring to Chris's team, interesting thing about Mama, in my humble opinion, what's not interesting about her. You are right about that. But seriously, speaking on her behalf, she would never have changed her eyes. The Hermiton colors of blue and all the other OG specialty traits and abilities they have. Like, <laughs> like, Chris... Like, Christine thinks she, like, made up her eye color. She doesn't. They're, they're the same color, and Chris always thinks that they're different colors. Where Christine sees themselves in ten years. Funny, she used to be unable to see herself far ahead in time. She'd draw a blank, but now she, definitely in ten years, in fifty years, in a hundred years, in a thousand years, in millions of years, into infinity, she'll still be alive, kicking all goddess overpowered, defending Quickville, helping <laughs> everyone else, protecting the Earth. And visit as many ultimate dimensions and interested in... Per yeah, so this is pretty much just Chris, like, going to be, like, an all-powerful, you know, goddess or whatever. But, yeah, like, Chris thinks she's going to be immortal or Christine. And, you know, this is just... Like, like this is just her way to say, like, oh, oh, Sonichu saying this, so it must be real, even though this is just Christine. Charlotte Place has a place to live. Is Charlottesville, Virginia, in general, is mostly a safe place and a uh, good place to reside in. Yeah, you know, that's... That's just Chris, uh, his opinion on it, or through Sonichu. And this is actually one of the most interesting ones here. 
uh, quarantine activities. I, Sonichu, could definitely answer that question personally since the quarantine time has pretty much started after Mama and I swapped bodies. So March 31st, that is what happened. Me and Rose, with Rosie by my side most of the time, keeping me at uh, this body safe, working with everyone else here. I've been much... It's pretty much been living psycholo- uh, s- uh, psychically, cosmically, interdimensionally. Uh, so other than that, we've also been playing Pokemon Go. That's in reality what's been really going on. Chris has been tweeting and playing Pokemon Go and getting in fights with Jacob Sochnis. If you follow his Twitter, he's really into P- Pokemon Go. He just got to level 40, actually. But yeah, that's bringing in, watching whatever on the iPad. So, so pretty much watching stuff on his iPad and uh, tweeting and playing Pokemon Go. That, that's what Chris has been doing in quarantine. So operations of Quickville's government. Remember there was that whole quickie analysis on Quickville's government. It, it's a dictatorship. Politics. You mentioned politics to Mama in the past. It'd go over her head. Although she has some comments, no, subcon- bleh, subconscious knowledge and know-how of how it deformed the Christine Sham, blah, 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 responsibilities. Literally the same as any other city throughout the United States in both dimensions. And one constable to mention regardless is is the freaking Iron Curtain you are in. The politics remain the same. There are differences between self-counterparts and some of the elected officials, whether or not. Like Trump's self-counterparts. So Trump does have a counterpart, according to Chris, and C-197 are considered mentally opposites. So pretty much is the uh, opposite. is literally Mr. Garrison from South Park. He touts himself as Trump to keep his – so according to Chris and C-197, Trump is just Mr. Garrison from South Park. He just acts just like it. So, to keep chronicle appearances. Like in the show, regardless, Lisa Simpson is set to be the next president in the U.S. in our merged dimension. So, once we merge with C-197, Lisa Simpson will, will take over as president. <laughs> like, 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 that's not a joke. That's what Chris is going to say what happens when all these like cartoon characters come over. How OCs come to existence. So, according to Chris, OC original characters... Original characters and fictional characters come to existence by typical means of birth or Abelaida's Chronicle when generally pre-existed for everyone to discover and chronicle about in your dimension. Yeah, so this is pretty much just Chris saying, like, if you write about it, it's going to become real. So if I wrote, write a character that has the power to kill all Sonic shoes, uh, like, what's Chris going to say then? Video game sequel, Rich. Knuckles, chaotic, yeah, so just a Knuckles game, you know, even a punchy Sonic shoe, you know, it's totally not Knuckles, according to Chris. So, conclusion, thank you so much. They're all great answers. And your followers, blah, 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 happy to hear them. Cool, that was a brain bender. Like, I wonder how long it took uh, her to type all of this. I, like, I keep saying her, but, you know, guys, we, we all know this is Chris Chan. But, yeah, Chris Chan is, you know, pretty uh, pretty crazy at this point. I just screen recorded this entire thing and read through it. I think I'll do, like, these weekly recaps on it. Uh, but, yeah, this is, uh, expect to see a lot more from this Discord going forward. I might do a video of touring the Quickie Discord. It's really funny. Uh, you can find out a lot of information and discuss a lot of Christian stuff. So I've been Stridebreaker. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll be seeing you guys next time.